This is Down Phoenix, and today we are reviewing Nogalius, which is a new retro-style action platforming game that looks and plays like something straight from the 80s. Nogalius is brought to us by Luego Lutrigo Studios, and it is graciously thanks to them that I was given a Steam key to review this. This game is coming to the Nintendo Switch, and it is also available on, you won't believe this, the MSX Computer. It is also coming soon to the Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, and ZX Spectrum. So when I say this game is a retro-style game, this is the real deal. But is No Galleys a game you need to rush out and play, or could it wait? Let's find out. Nogalius starts off with our titular hero, Nogalius, and his daughter Mariette, out in a field. The evil witch Dorama kidnaps your daughter in a classic gaming trope fashion, and it is your goal to breathe through all kinds of monsters, traps, and other dangers in your quest to rescue Mariette. The simplistic story doesn't offer any twists or turns, but it does serve as an effective plot to give you all the background info you'll need, which is not much. The gameplay of Nogalius is very simple but easy to pick up. You have your normal buttons for attacking and jumping as well as a contextual action button, a button used to push and pull objects, and two buttons to cycle through various weapons you can pick up. The platforming is executed well with the inertia being fully player controlled and you can stop on a dime. That said, you do have to grasp the limitations of your character's movement given that this is an old school game it certainly is stiffer than a modern platforming game. It can be very challenging to navigate through all the various hazards that you will encounter, but the controls are responsive and won't fail you in your journey. The presentation on hand is very old school and has the authentic look of a 1980s computer game. The interface has a simplistic style with a lot of icons on the screen, which was typical for the time period. The sprite work and color palette is fantastic, with very limited colors and nice simple animation. Despite this, however, there is a lot of notable details with the backgrounds, enemies, and obstacles throughout. Retro aesthetics oftentimes can be used to mask poor art design, but that is definitely not the case here. The visuals on display feel right at home, and I'm sure anyone who is a fan of the old school computer games will get a real kick out of it. The sound design and music also harkens back to the games of yesteryear, with sharp tones, deep static, and charming chip tunes. And though the style of the game has a great nostalgic feel, it is important to realize that the substance of the game is dated. This game is very unforgiving to play, and I think it is a tough sell for casual players. The game gives you 5 lives and 4 continues, and getting hit unless you have an armor piece causes you to lose a life and have to redo that screen. There is no save system or password of any kind, so if you run out of lives and continues, you will have to start over from the very beginning. There is no way to earn extra lives or continues that I could find. And even though the controls are responsive, there are many situations throughout that require very precise manipulation of these controls to keep from losing lives. Also, there are situations that can be completely out of your control to cause you to lose lives. In level 2, for example, there are ants that spawn on random timers and locations, and being in the wrong place at the wrong time can lead to an instant life lost. The clues offered by the game can be fairly obscure, and it may take several attempts to figure out their meaning. The boss encounters, while they are a fun challenge, they sometimes exhibit erratic behaviors that can make nailing their patterns to defeat them difficult. And even when you take what you've learned from repeated plays of stages in the game, there are still circumstances that will undermine your progress despite your best efforts. Nogalius is a game that fans of old school games or gamers that have a deaf skill level in gaming will certainly want to take a look at. It is hard to recommend for other gamers, however, and perhaps that's the developer's aim. But I think that some small changes like offering difficulty settings, perhaps one with unlimited continues for example, could make this a better overall package by letting players learn from their mistakes more naturally instead of having to constantly repeat easier stages to get another chance at the next tough obstacle. Overall, Nagalius is a solid game that has its share of problems and so I will give it a 6 out of 10. If Nogalius looks like a game you'd want to play, definitely check out the description for a link to buy directly from Steam. And if you collect for the old computer systems, perhaps consider adding some life to that old system with some of the ports available for the MSX and other platforms. Please consider sharing this video if you enjoyed this review. Until then, Down Phoenix out.